Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to solve a problem on vapor compression cycle with wet vapor after compression. So first I will read what is the given problem. Find the theoretical coefficient of performance of carbon dioxide machine working between the temperature range of 25 degree Celsius and minus 5 degree Celsius. The dryness fraction of carbon dioxide gas during the suction stroke is 0.6. Following properties of carbon dioxide are given. So here is the table given where the temperature range as well as for liquid and vapor enthalpy and entropy data and the latent heat is given. Now if we observe the given data during the suction stroke the dryness fraction is given. So when there is the suction stroke during the compression the refrigerant is entering through the suction valve. So at that point the dryness fraction is given. So if we observe when the compression process is getting started. So here process 1 to 2 is the compression process. So dryness fraction at point 1 is given. So we can say that x1 is equal to 0 0.6. Now the temperature range 25 and minus 5 is given. So if we observe this temperature entropy, the point 2 and 3 are at higher temperature. So we can say that T2 is equal to T3 is equal to 25 degree Celsius which is equal to 25 plus 273 that is 298 Kelvin and point 1 and 4 are at lower temperature range. So we can say that T1 is equal to T4 is equal to minus 5 degree Celsius which is equal to minus 5 plus 273 that is 268 Kelvin. Now this is the example for the wet vapor after compression. Means what when this compression process is getting completed this point 2 is that is the end point of this compression contains liquid plus vapor mixture. So we have to show this point 2 in, is in between saturated liquid line and the saturated vapor line. So here is the point 2. In the same way for this pressure enthalpy diagram we have to show this point 2 in between saturated liquid line and the saturated vapor line. Because there is the wet vapor that is the vapor contains liquid droplets. So we have to show this point in between these two saturated lines. Now we will move for the table. So if we observe the given data from the table that is the temperature of 25 degree Celsius means there are two points 2 and 3 are the points at 25 degree Celsius and the liquid enthalpy is given. So here it is important that is the liquid enthalpy. So saturated liquid line is here so we have to refer this pressure enthalpy diagram now at this point 2 and 3 we have given that what is the enthalpy on this saturated liquid line so if we extend this point 2 on this saturated liquid line so here is the point of intersection and point 3 itself lies on the saturated liquid line so we can say that the enthalpy or liquid enthalpy at point 2 and 3 which is equal to 164.77 so how we have to write that is hf2 which is equal to hf3 which is equal to 164.77 now in the same way for this minus 5 degree celsius now the point 1 and 4 are the points at minus 5 degree celsius so we have to take this enthalpy so this is the liquid enthalpy so if we extend this point 1 and 4 on this saturated liquid line so here is the saturated liquid line so this is the gap so this is the starting point and here is the end point so now if we extend this so up to this point this gap is known as the liquid enthalpy for this point 1 and 4 so we can say here this is the hf1 and hf4 so this gap so i will write here hf1 so how we can write this hf1 which is equal to hf4 which is equal to 72.57 now we will use here the suffix f for the liquid now in the same way we will move for the entropy now we will refer here this temperature entropy diagram now for the 25 degree celsius there are two points 
and here is the liquid entropy so we have to extend this point 2 up to the saturated liquid line and the point 3 it lies on this saturated liquid line itself so now how to write so entropy we will use here as a suffix use letter s then for liquid we will use here as a suffix f and there are two points that is 2 and 3 so sf2 which is equal to sf3 which is equal to 0 0.5978 now in the same way for the minus 5 degree celsius that is these two points that is at lower temperatures these two points are at minus 5 degree celsius so we have to extend these two points on this saturated liquid line so here if i extend this and here is the gap so this is the starting this is the graph so this gap is known as sf1 is equal to sf4 so i will write sf1 which is equal to sf4 which is equal to 0 0.2862 now we will move for the enthalpy and entropy for the vapor so what is the enthalpy at 25 degree celsius so here it is given so we will move for the saturated vapor line and 25 degree celsius that means there are two points two and three so these two points if i extend up to this saturated vapor line so here is the point of intersection so if i take this point on this enthalpy that is on the horizontal line so from the starting point up to this point of intersection there is the hg2 and hg3 so how we can write this hg2 which is equal to hg3 which is equal to 282.23 now in the same way for this minus 5 so here is the point 1 now we have to extend this point 1 and 4 up to this saturated vapor line so now this is the point and the distance from this starting point up to this point that is known as hg1 which is equal to hg4 which is equal to it is given that 321.33 now in the same way we have to write the entropy so this is the saturated vapor line so for this 25 degree celsius we have to extend this point 2 and 3 up to this saturated vapor line so this if i take this point or extend this point of intersection on this entropy line so here is the point of intersection so from this point up to this point there is the entropy at point 2 and 3 so how to write so for the entropy i will write here is for saturated vapor line i will use here as a suffix g and there are two points that is sg2 which is equal to sg3 which is equal to 0 0.9918 now in the same way at minus 5 we have to write 1 and 4 that is sg1 which is equal to sg4 which is equal to 1.2146 so this point 1 and 4 we can extend up to this saturated vapor line so this total distance is known as sg1 which is equal to sg4 now again there is the data for the latent heat so latent heat at the temperature of 25 degree celsius so here this point 2 so here is the total processes 2 to 3 so we can take latent heat means there is the mixture of uh, liquid plus vapor is there that means we will use here latent heat that is we will use the letter h and for the mixture of liquid and vapor we will use here h f g and it is at point 2 because is this point 2 is in between this saturated liquid line and saturated vapor line so i will use here h f g 2 which is equal to 117.46 and then for the minus 5 so here minus 5 point is on the this point 1 and this point 4 so these two points is in between the saturated liquid line and the saturated vapor line so this process 1 to 4 4 to 1 is there so here the latent heat during this process is given that is latent heat means what that is the heat is getting involved during the phase change process 
so here do, between between these two processes the phase is getting changed that is from liquid to vapor and vapor to liquid so here for these two points that is hfg4 which is equal to hfg1 which is equal to 248.76 so this is all the given data so you have to note down these points on the your notebook and now with the help of this data we will solve the problem now what is the coefficient of performance that we have to calculate so if we observe coefficient of performance is equal to h1 minus hf3 divided by h2 minus h1 so if we have hf3 is there here from this given data hf3 is equal to 164.77 now what about the h1 and h2 so we can find out this with the help of formula h1 is equal to hf1 plus x1 hfg1 now where is the point 1 so point 1 is in between saturated liquid line and vapor line and x1 is the dryness fraction that is given so we will use here what is the value of hf1 that is 72.57 plus x1 0.6 multiplied by hfg1 so hfg1 that is the latent heat at this point 1 so here latent heat at this point 1 that is 248.76 248.76 so here all the values are known so we can easily calculate this h1 now we will move for the h2 so again if we observe the value of h2 that is hf2 plus x2 hfg2 now the x2 that is dryness fraction is not given so we will put here the remaining known values now what is the hf2 so here 164.77 plus x2 and what is the hfg2 so hfg2 that is the latent heat because here both the phase f that is liquid and gas is getting involved so it is 117.46 now we have to find out this value of x2 that is the dryness fraction at point 2 so how to calculate this now if we observe here the value of entropy that is given now here is the condition that at this point 1 and 2 this is the isentropic process 1 to 2 and we can write here the condition s1 is equal to s2 so i will write here s1 is equal to s2 now how to calculate this s1 so we have the formula now s1 is equal to sf1 plus x1 h s sfg1 so sfg1 that is the latent that is the phase change this entropy is not given during the phase change process so instead of sfg1 we have to take here hfg1 by t1 that is in terms of enthalpy and temperature we can write this formula so now i will put the value so what is the sf1 that is 0 0.2862 plus now x1 x1 is known that is 0 0.6 hfg1 so hfg1 that is hfg1 is equal to hfg4 which is equal to 248.76 248.76 divided by t1 so what is the t1 here we have to take in kelvin that is 268 kelvin now all the values are known so we can easily calculate this now we will move for the s2 so s2 is equal to sf2 plus x2 hfg2 by t2 so again we will put the value so what is the sf2 so here 0 0.5978 plus x2 that is unknown hfg2 that is 117.46 divided by t2 so where is the t2 298 now if we solve these two equations that is for s1 and s2 so this s1 is known so we can easily get the number and s2 there is the one unknown term x2 so here the condition is that s1 is equal to s2 so we can find out this x2 and we will put this x2 to find out this h2 and then we can calculate here the coefficient of performance so let us move for the calculations when we take s1 is equal to s2 then our equation will become 
जीरो पॉइंट फाइव नाइन सेवन एट प्लस जीरो पॉइंट थ्री नाइन फोर वन एक्स टू विच इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट एट फोर थ्री वन एंड वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स टू इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स टू टू नाउ वी विल पुट दिस वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स टू इन द फॉर्मूला फॉर द एच टू दैट इज वन सिक्सटी फोर पॉइंट सेवेंटी सेवन प्लस जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स टू टू मल्टीप्लाइड बाई वन वन सेवन पॉइंट फोर्टी सिक्स एंड हियर द आंसर इज टू थर्टी सेवन पॉइंट एटी थ्री किलो जूल पर किलोग्राम एंड वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ एच वन दैट इज टू ट्वेंटी वन पॉइंट थ्री किलो जूल पर किलोग्राम नाउ वी विल पुट हियर दैल्यूज इज इक्वल टू थ्री पॉइंट फिफ्टी सेवन सो दिस इज द आंसर दैट इज द कोई ऑफ परफॉ